determine the partial sum. We have the sum of the square of the quantity two minus three i from i equals one to 60. To determine the partial sum using the summation formulas shown here on the right, we first have to square two minus three i. Let's go ahead and show the work below. The square of two minus three i is equal to two factors of two minus three i, and when multiplying two binomials, we always have four products. One, two, three, and four. Two times two is equal to four, and then we have two times negative three i, which is equal to negative six i, giving us minus six i. And then we have negative three i times two, which is also negative six i, giving us another minus six i. And then we have negative three i times negative three i, which is positive nine i squared, giving us plus nine i squared. Combining like terms, we have four, minus 12i plus 9i squared, which means we can write this sum as the sum of four minus 12i plus 9i squared from i equals one to 60. And now let's write this partial sum as a sum or difference of three partial sums. This is equal to the sum of four from i equals one to 60 minus the sum of 12i from i equals one to 60, and then finally plus the sum of nine i squared from i equals one to 60. And now looking at the summation formulas, we have a formula for the sum of a constant, the sum of i, and the sum of i squared, which means we'll have to factor out the 12 here and the nine here. So this is equal to the sum of four from i equals one to 60, then factoring out the 12, we have minus 12 times the sum of i from i equals one to 60. And then factoring out the nine here, we have plus nine times the sum of i squared from i equals one to 60. And notice for all these sums, n, the upper limit of the index is 60. So applying the summation formulas, the sum of four from i equals one to 60 is equal to c times n, where c is equal to four, which gives us four times 60, minus 12 times the sum of i from i equals one to 60, and the sum of i from i equals one to n is equal to n times the quantity n plus one divided by two. In our case, n is 60, so this gives us 12 times 60, times 60 plus one, or 61 divided by two. And then we have plus nine times the sum of i squared from i equals one to 60, where the sum of i squared is equal to n times the quantity n plus one times the quantity two n plus one divided by six, which gives us nine times 60 times n plus one is 61 times two n plus one, where n is 60, two times 60 plus one is 121, and all this is divided by six. And now we need to simplify. Well, four times 60 is equal to 240, minus, simplifying here, 60 divided by two is equal to 30, which gives us 12 times 30 times 61. And then we have plus, simplifying here, 60 divided by six is equal to 10. So we have nine times 10 times 61 times 121, giving us 240 minus 12 times 30 times 61 is equal to 21,960, and then plus nine times 10 times 61 times 121 is equal to 664,290, and then finally 240 minus 21,960 plus 664,290 is equal to 642,570. I hope you found this helpful.